Hi, this is Allie from the Terra team. Today I'm going to talk about how to collaborate on a project by using Terra to share data, tools, and results. I'll also go over collaborator roles and how Terra protects the privacy of restricted access data while collaborating using authorization domains. I'm going to demo on one of my own restricted access workspaces, a tutorial for researchers with access to a particular data set. You can see the workspace dashboard page includes a lot of detail. Good documentation helps align all project collaborators and it makes an analysis easier to reproduce. You can edit the documentation, which is written in the Markdown language, by clicking on the pencil icon at the top of the dashboard. To work together, you'll share the project workspace with all your collaborators. Everyone in the shared workspace will have access to the same data, tools, and results. It's important to remember that every collaborator's analysis and storage costs will bill to the same billing project, which is in the workspace URL at the top. Mine is in this NIH-funded billing account. Terra uses authorization domains to protect data privacy. If you're working with restricted access data, you'll only be able to share with people authorized to access the data. On the right side of the dashboard is a section listing the authorization domains a person needs to be part of for access to this kind of data. If this is blank, the workspace only uses open access data and it can be shared with any registered Terra user. When you're ready to share a workspace, Click on the three vertical dots at the top right of any page and select Share. You'll get this Share Workspace form to complete. First, you'll add your collaborator's Terra user ID and hit Return. Then, to control what each collaborator can do in the workspace, whether they can run computations or share with other people, for example, you'll set a role for each person you shared with here. Roles include reader, writer, or owner, and you can change these settings later. When you click Save, everyone you've added will get an automated notification you have shared the workspace. It happens almost instantaneously, and you can check the status by selecting Share again. If there's a pending warning with one of your collaborators, this usually means there's a problem with the user ID you've typed in. I find it's often a typo, or it could be you've tried to share with someone who's not registered on Terra. You can cancel that share and add the person again to correct the mistake. I mentioned earlier that Terra uses authorization domains to control who can work with restricted access data. Although you can technically add people who don't have the required authorization in this form, they won't actually be able to access the workspace. Instead, they'll get a warning message that they are not authorized when they try to open the workspace. Once you've shared a workspace, your collaborators will have access to all the project data, tools, and results at the level you specified. You can also duplicate or clone a workspace, which creates a fresh copy with the same tools and data, but no job history and an empty workspace bucket. This might be useful for testing analysis code, for example or if you want to change the billing project associated with your analysis. You can do that by clicking on the three vertical dots again and selecting Clone instead of Share. On a side note, the three vertical dots are an icon used many places in Terra, often to copy, share, and delete. For example, in the Workflows page, you can copy a workflow to another workspace and duplicate or delete it in this workspace using the same three-dot icon. Those are the basics of collaborating in a Terra workspace. If you want to learn more, visit our support online at support.terra.bio. Thanks for watching. We hope you'll enjoy using Terra for your analysis in the cloud.